new moon cleanup. New moon cleanup. New moon cleanup. Let's clean up from yesterday's new moon and let's have a fabulous conversation about trusting your higher self. Trusting that everything shows up exactly as it's meant to. Holy cow. I would love to do more of that. I don't know if any of you are like that, that you just want to be more in trust that you are moving forward in your life, doing the things that you are meant to do. None of us want to be insignificant. None of us want to have a life where, you know, we didn't make a difference to to someone at least, right? Um, and many, 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 many of us want to make big differences, big um, changes in the world. Good morning, David. So glad you're not playing tennis. So it's so fascinating to me how this um, topic showed up because literally 20 minutes ago I didn't have a freaking clue what I was talking about and all I kept getting was trust, 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 trust. And uh, three minutes before I turned on the live, I was like, oh, look at that information drop in and we've got a parade going on today. So what a great day to join in the fun. It's going to be fun and celebratory and and who doesn't want a little fun and celebration after that new moon yesterday? So my name is Bonnie Sachs. I do these um, lives every Sunday morning and um, every once in a while I do have one of those things. I'm like, am I really doing a live today? Like, yep, you're doing a live today. And so I'm so excited that this showed up this way. Yesterday's new moon was um, what I have been calling the um, the moon of intimate communication and uh, many of my friends call it that as well and it, it was it was a doozy oh my goodness does anybody else have that experience that like oh my gosh I want to be really careful how I'm communicating what I want and, and expressing myself because I want to bring more awareness. I want to bring more love to my conversations. I want to trust that I am saying what um, I really mean as opposed to my mouth taking off and having a conversation and my brain catching up, you know, a minute or two later. Good morning, Sarah. It's great to see you. So, yesterday's <laughs> moon brought in a lot of frequencies to help us um, trust ourselves more and be more aware of, um, of how powerful we are and how magical we are. And I don't know about you, but I can always use more of that. So we have a parade starting and um, as in every good parade, <laughs> lots of different parades, there are some floats. And so for each one of us, there is a float going by in front of you. And this particular float is doing exactly what you need it to do. So um, I love that you popped in about having a headache, um, David, because you are getting, as your float goes by, you are getting a healing on um, what needs to move so you have less um, headaches, less less of the pain that is um, moving out. So how cool is that? I was just asking like what my float looks like and I swear my float has um, has is a giant um, clown and it's like, yeah, have more humor, have more, um, God, 
have more humor. Be a little lighter, be a little more fun, be a little bit more like, hey, we can laugh about this. And holy cow, some days I just don't feel like laughing. Just don't feel like it at all. So you can absolutely ask what kind of float is in front of you if you have no awareness of it. If you're like, I don't even think there is a float. I think you're just making it up. That float that is in front of you is a float that is helping you move more of the atheist energy that tells you not that God isn't isn't real or God isn't there, but helps you move the ideas. It says that energy isn't real. We're just making this stuff up. And every time I find myself doubting myself, doubting like that I'm supposed to be doing something or that I am saying something, I ask for some help with that atheist energy because that's how atheist energy shows up for me. It shows up as me starting to doubt myself. Like I was sitting here going, really? You're not going to give me anything. Okay, let me have a healing on the idea that I don't have access to my information, that I don't know what I'm going to be talking about. Like, for goodness sakes, I'm about to go live. I'm about to put myself out there and I don't even know what I'm talking about. Atheist energy. And if that happens for you, you can always ask for help. And if you find yourself like you're trying to make a decision about anything, you could be standing in front of the tomato sauce at the grocery store and you're not sure which one to get. Before you put your hand out, you might want to say like, can I get some help here? And sometimes I feel like I'm talking to the air and I just go, can I get some help here? You know, and the person behind me walks behind me going, can I help you? No, no, no. <laughs> just talking to myself and then what happens is I trust when my hand goes out that I am picking up the right tomato sauce right whatever it is it's a really silly example but that works so as an opportunity to practice that we have a huge bouquet of balloons in front of us and first you're just picking one just pick one balloon what color is your balloon? If you're not sure what color your balloon is, I am happy to give you a healing on that. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Let's, let's move more of that that gets in our way of thinking that we don't know. So my balloon is blue with white stars. I did not know it was blue with white stars until I actually asked. I asked my higher self to tell me what it looked like and I saw blue with white stars. So if you want to look at what color your balloon is, you can do that. It's an opportunity to practice. Then what I'm going to do is take my balloon and I'm going to put it in my throat. Those stars are going to help me speak more clearly. Yes. That's always a good thing. If you're going to go live on Facebook, it's helpful if you speak clearly. So some of you have, um, I see a red balloon with stripes. I see a pink balloon that has like starbursts on it. That is really awesome. Pink starbursts. And um, I see a bunch of solid color balloons. That's what they kind of look like. But they're not actually in truth solid colors. They're actually filled with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of colors. But it's really cool to just be like, I got a blue balloon. Go for it. It's a blue balloon. That's perfect. And then you can just say, where do you want to put it? And if you're not sure, it's all being taken care of anyway. Most of them look like they're going in the brain. So as I'm gathering more energetic information from the field, let's continue on our way. We've got a parade. Ooh. I'm seeing music notes. 
music notes are coming out of instruments and they're coming out of, they're coming out of everything. They're coming out of the trees, that's coming out of the, um, oh, what are those, they're like lamp posts and music notes are coming out. And what that, those music notes are doing are transforming more of the fear that we have in our bodies. Really, fear? Yeah, fear. <laughs> Every once in a while, my husband's like, I don't have any fear. I'm like, well, fear looks like a lot of things. Sometimes fear shows up like, I don't have enough money. Sometimes fear shows up like, I'm not powerful enough to create what I want. Or, I don't know how to create anything. You don't understand. You don't know me. Me, I just am not very creative, right? That is all different kinds of fear. Just a big, huge box labeled fear, and we put a lot of different things in there just to make it easy. Why do we have to make life so complex? Great question. So, you can certainly grab some music notes and if you feel really weird about grabbing music notes, if you're kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know what that looks like, just know that your higher self is busy grabbing everything it can, right? Your higher self is going, yes, I'll take some music notes, I'll take some of these key codes, I'll say, take some of these harmonics, and I'm just going to put them in the body exactly where I need them. How cool is that? I kind of like the idea that our higher selves are on the process, that I don't have to know what I'm doing. You know, I've got a life to live, right? I've got things to do. I've got puzzles to put together. That's what I've been doing this weekend, is putting together one of the hardest puzzles I've ever put together. And in fact, this puzzle is a great analogy for our lives. <laughs> See, everything you do can be applied to your life, right? So I'm sitting here doing this puzzle, and you're supposed to read a story, and then it's supposed to give you a clue to what the puzzle looks like. And so I'm following the rules. We follow the rules, right? Are you one of those? Are you one of those people that like to follow the rules? The rules are, read the story, put the puzzle together. I didn't have a stinking clue about what the puzzle looked like. And I probably spent four or five hours putting a puzzle together, a thousand piece puzzle, that I didn't know what it looked like. Didn't have a freaking clue what it looked like. So here I am putting this puzzle together and suddenly I go, wait, there's a thing called the internet. I am willing to bet that at least one person has posted a picture of what this puzzle looks like. Pick up my phone. Right? And I pull up the picture. And so I say to my son's girlfriend, who's bravely helping me, look, I've got a picture. I know what it looks like. Am I breaking the rules? No. I'm just buying a clue. <laughs> I'm buying a clue. I'm using the resources that I have around me to help me move through this process. How cool is that? Yes. <laughs> so, you know, when you are going through something in your life, feel free to buy a clue. Feel free to ask for assistance. That might actually look like a person. You can text me, send me a Facebook message anytime. I'll be happy to help you with whatever you want to move. You just keep trusting that it's showing up, right? You go, oh wait, Bonnie said I could text her. 
No, she's way too busy. No, she really did. She said, text her. I really did. Text me. I'm happy to help. It's one of the things I do. And I usually help by moving my hands. So what I'm actually doing is creating hats for each and every one of us. So everybody can take a look at what their hat looks like. Some of you have baseball caps. One of you has a high hat. Looks kind of like Abraham Lincoln, right? Some of you have those those little um, little um, caps. They're it's not a pillbox, and it's not a yarmulke, but it sort of looks like a yarmulke. Uh, a little cap here. It's not a um, not a dunce hat. Yeah. Yeah, Jill, of course, you can always ask for help. Jill, you are really good about asking for help. And sometimes we go unconscious to it. Or sometimes we think we're, like, bothering somebody. If I had a dollar, every time somebody sent me a text that started with, I hope I'm not bothering you. Sorry to bother you. I'm sure you're busy. I'd have... A nice set of dollar bills but that's what we're all here for right we are here to help each other and here's the really cool thing if you didn't know this when you ask for help and you allow somebody else to help you you are transforming more than just what's in you you are also transforming what is in that person as I work on Jill, I'm also working on myself. Yes, David, you definitely have a, have a beanie on with a propeller on the top, spinning around and around and around. So, yeah, don't be selfish. Ask for help. And take a look at what kind of hat you have. You can ask what color is it. Like... David, do you have an idea what color that propeller is? It's really cool. Yeah. So the acrobats are coming through. I'm watching the acrobats, well, people doing acrobatics, doing tumbling and, and spins and turns. And as they are spinning and turning, they are... <laughs> gifting each and every one of us with more key codes, with more healing. It's really funny. There are lots of them. And as they do a cartwheel, it's like the, um, the healing energies of coming off of their feet and off of their hands and just everywhere. It's so cool. All right, Donna. Flappy beach hat. You go, girl. I'm actually going to give you a really beautiful yellow flower for that floppy beach hat. There you go. Yes. <laughs> so, you might be seeing um, people doing all sorts of acrobatics. I wish I could remember all those things. They're doing back flips and and twists and all kinds of cool things. You wouldn't know that my daughter was in gymnastics for a long period of time. You'd think I'd be able to identify all this stuff. But it's so freaking cool because there's just so many key codes and healings going out that, you know, we can sit and laugh. We can sit and, and be in joy and have fun and act like little kids and be like, yay, look at all that cool stuff. It's very fun. It is very fun, and there is a lot of joy coming in for each and every one of us. Now, for a really long time, I had no awareness of joy. I felt like, yeah, joy is coming in for everybody else, but it's not there for me. I have really been moving a lot of 
the fear and the pain and the things that have gotten in the way of me experiencing more joy. So every once in a while I do get a little giggly, a little bubbly, a little, oh my God, there's some joy. How cool is that? Get out of my own way. Yeah, that, um, that um, yellow flower looks awesome with your turquoise hat. Bum, 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 bum. So, is there anything that you're like, oh my God, this new moon has been flipping me out. This new moon has been creating more of this. Like David was saying, you know, he had a lot of headaches. I had a lot of, um, whew, a lot of awareness of the pain moving out and there were times I was sitting back here in my backyard and I would just start sobbing and I'm like I don't know what that is but I don't need it anyway let's just keep moving it out moving it out and I had a moment this morning where I was like oh I just want to go back and I'm like oh no I don't I don't want to do anything from the past again Right? I don't want to go back to my history. Do I want to like go back to Disney and have a new experience? Yes. But I don't want to go back to what I did before and pull it with me. I want to go create something new. Yes. Creating new. Creating new stuff because that's so much cooler. Right? New experiences. You might really love going to the beach, really go love going to the lake house. That's fabulous. And you might do some of the same things when you go, but you're creating it anew all the time. You're taking it all up in frequency. You're adding more love and more joy and more fun to it all. Yeah, Donna, there is, um, I've had a long, long history of not crying. If you were having a conversation with any one of my family members, they'd be like, oh yeah, my mother was so blocked. I'm going to help you with that. Right there in your frontal lobe, we're going to give everybody a gift. So... It shows up as a, a crystalline. It's a crystalline sphere right there in your frontal lobe. And it's going to help you access more joy. More joy. There are, is food. And I'm like, I actually thought we were going to put popcorn in our frontal lobes. And so that's why I paused for a minute. Because I'm like, move the popcorn out of the way. That would just be weird, right? <laughs> and now it's actually raining popcorn. Popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Pop, 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 pop. And as that popcorn comes down, it is going into your body and it is doing exactly that. Pop, 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 Jill. Let's see. What does your hat look like, Jill? You know what, Jill? The first thing I saw was an elephant. I'm like, no, you don't have an elephant. Oh, Jill, you have, you know why we are seeing an elephant? We are seeing an elephant because there was a lot of unconscious energy there. So let's move more of that. And you tell me if you see your hat. Yeah. We don't need unconscious energy. We have a lot of it, but we don't actually need it. We do spend a lot of time going in and out of unconsciousness, right? There's times when we're like, oh, I know what I'm doing. And they're like, wait, what did I just say I was doing? Right? All of us have that. So, Jill, tell me if you see your hat.
that popcorn is coming in and helping us have more access to our knowingness. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Yep. I love that. How cool is that? Did you know that all this was possible? And if you're like me, you might go, wow, I wish I had known this was possible when I was younger. Well, the truth of the matter is, is that there was a lot of stuff still in the way for us to be able to access this information. And it's really only been in the last five, six, seven years that people are starting to get more information. Yeah! Jill, I love that. That is a gorgeous tiara. You do know how to create with style and pizzazz. Yeah. I think that's awesome. And, you know, if you're going to participate in the parade, you might as well have a tiara. Every parade needs princesses and queens and all of that stuff. So, yes. That's a fabulous thing to do. Fabulous. So what else do we have in our parade? More marching bands coming down. So each of us has an instrument that is for us. It's a crystalline instrument. <laughs> Nobody needs an elephant in the room, Jill. You have a crystalline instrument. Now, some of you look like, I mean, I know I have the last name Sax, but um, there are crystalline saxes, there are um, crystalline keyboards, but there are instruments that I don't even know how to describe them. So if you are looking at an instrument and you're kind of like, I'm sure it's an instrument, but I have no idea what it is. Yeah, these look like, you know, things that we have just created so feel free to trust what you get so I'm seeing an instrument that it kind of looks like a mini xylophone right it it's about this big and it has the plates on it that you would ding 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 like this but it's almost like it has a, a horn like a um, um, like a saxophone. I mean, uh, whatever that's called, like a saxophone. Yeah, um, Donna, they're, they're really interesting. And you get to move the ideas out that, oh, I must be making this shit up. You're not making it up. It is absolutely exactly as unusual as you think it is. So feel free to, um, sometimes I like to write, right? I want to sit down and write because I get out of my way faster when I write. But you might be somebody who draws and you sit down and you start drawing and you just let yourself draw, right? That is your higher self talking to you. Let your higher self talk to you. Get out of the way. <laughs> let the band come through. Whew. Yeah, there's another one that um it's almost like somebody has a snare drum. Um What is the rest? There's something underneath the snare drum. Kind of looks like a hula skirt. Go figure. A snare drum with a hula skirt. Ah, there you go. A keyboard with a wooden handle and a drum attached to it. Love that. And as you play, right, you are getting a healing. How interesting is that? What if people, what if everybody knew that they had instruments that they could play? That there's energetic instruments that you play and they help you heal the stuff that is getting in the way of you knowing just how powerful you are. I keep asking if I can stop moving my hands like this and apparently not yet. 
So, play your instrument. Be who you are. Just play it loud. And the really cool thing is it's yours to keep forever. Like ever and ever and ever. Your instrument's always there. Always working on the things that are getting in the way of you knowing just how powerful you are. So you get to ask where you're putting that. Some of you might be putting it in your throat. You might be putting it in your stomach. You might be putting it behind your head. And every once in a while, I feel like I'm starting to do the Macarena. You might be putting it on the top of your head, right? You might be putting it in your left hip or your right knee. It is exactly perfect wherever you put those gifts. It's a beautiful thing. And for those of you who go, wow, this is really weird. We're happy to give you a healing. Because eventually, everybody is going to know about this stuff. Everybody's going to know that you can put your hands out and ask for a gift. And maybe you're not in a parade. Maybe that's not where your gifts are. Maybe your gift is just going to look like a box of more love. And you're just like, yes, please, a box of more love. Your right knee is a great place to put that. We have clairvoyant boxes, crystal boxes in our knees. You want to be able to see more clairvoyantly? Put more gifts in your knees. So, you get to put gifts wherever you want. Do you need to be watching me in order to put your gifts in? Nope. In fact, your higher self is constantly, constantly gifting you, gifting you, gifting you. Your higher self wants you to have more conversation with them. Your higher self is like, gosh, yes. More healings, more healings, more healings. More love, more love, more love. And so, there is a ton of confetti coming in. There are fireworks going off. And all of those fireworks are more information for each and every one of us. We all actually want more information. There's a lot of healing in information. There is a lot of what we really want in information. Information heals. Information moves us forward and moves us up. It's a good thing. So, enjoy the fireworks. Enjoy your gifts and keep trusting that these gifts are always there, always available to you whether you think they are or not. And don't forget, if you need some help, you can always send me a message. I'm not too busy. I'm happy to help. And my higher self, right, has an agreement with your higher self to keep taking you up, up, up in frequency and giving you more access to everything that was always yours. I hope you have a fabulous Sunday. And that you keep playing and trusting all the magic that you are. I love you guys. Have a great day.